Trunks is a game where players move their bodies, make sounds, and perform actions from memory. It was developed by occupational therapist Diane Long to help children who have sequencing and memory difficulties. The game takes about 15 minutes, and it's really good for working memory, which is a challenge for kids with executive function and learning disabilities. The game also helps with oral motor, sequencing, making noises, imitating sound, and movement, which helps with motor planning. For kids with dyspraxia, movement is not automatic. They have to think about each piece in a sequence of movement. The game includes three different levels of cards, A, B, and C, for beginner, intermediate, and advanced. There are six different performance categories, musical you, animal motions, pretend to, animal sounds, sound like, and show how. On the back side of the cards, there are pieces of elephant trunks. You can also add action cards to make gameplay more challenging. Choose the difficulty level and shuffle the cards. The playmat is included and shows what the completed trunk looks like. It serves as a visual aid to help children who may have trouble with visual perception. The first player chooses a card from the deck and turns it over. They read the card aloud and place it face down in front of them. The first player then performs the action on the card from memory. The second player chooses their first card from the deck, reads it aloud, and places it in front of them. They perform their card action from memory. The first player then chooses their second card, reads it aloud, and places it next to the first card. But before they perform the action from the second card, they need to remember and perform the action from their first card. The second player repeats the process. Draw a second card, read it aloud, place it face down in the second spot, perform the actions from the first card, and then perform the actions from the second card. If a player draws a card that is a repeat of a trunk piece they already have, it replaces the old card in the memory sequence. The third round continues in the same manner. Draw a third card, read it aloud, place it face down next to the second card, perform the actions from the first card, then the second card, then the third card. Gameplay continues until the trunk is completed. The first player to complete the trunk and perform the memory sequence earns a chip. The person who completes the most trunks wins the game. Players can use the included playmat to help them visualize the completed trunk.